this um, arthritis is um, a very debilitating thing because it doesn't arrive one day and doesn't give you a call to action to go do something. It just kind of creeps in. It gets to a point where, okay, you have a love for cycling, so you find a way to cycle, but walking became uh, excruciating. The second I met with Dr. Alvarado, I understood clearly that he heard my goals, understood my goals, and had an incredible self-confidence to say, yes, I can make this happen, and uh, off we go. The bottom line is once the damage has gotten to a certain point, there is no salvage, and we have to talk about replacement. So it, it became a discussion of, you know, when we wanted to do this hip replacement. Um, and then it also became a discussion of, okay, they were both very bad, so which side would we start with? And the ultimate decision was, we we're gonna do a minimally invasive anterior approach, and then the second decision we made was we weren't just gonna do one, we were gonna do both on the same day. I'll be very honest to say, I was shocked and amazed that the physical recovery was for me, for my personal opinion, really very, very easy. I, um, he encouraged me to walk on the day of the surgery, which I did. Having looked at my x-rays, the precision with which the um, parts are placed is amazing. And um, in terms of his office and Baptist, it is so patient-centric and um, the care is wonderful. Um, yeah. Just really, really pleased. When I see someone like Alex recover so quickly and get back to his normal life after both his hips replaced in one day, and it's very rewarding to see somebody at such a high level of function be so limited due to his hip disease, uh, you know, get back on his bike and cycle 50 miles, 100 miles. This is why we do this.